So everybody that watch our shit, listen in, they know we always talk about classic albums. Yes. Classic oh this, classic that. Oh God. So the people finally, finally, we're gonna talk about what defines a classic album, bro. Mm-hmm. Marlon, <clears throat> go ahead, kick it off, bro. You know, I actually don't want to kick this off because I feel like <laughs> the conversation could be to be tailored tailored to whoever you want it to be. Because I feel like a classic album, there's no actual like marker to say what's a classic. No, I feel like mm-hmm. the classic, there, are ma- there are markers, man. Mm-hmm. 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 Sure. The classic is like <laughs> the classic is more like because it could be a person, it could be a personal feeling. You, you could think something a classic when it's timeless. You could think of something is classic that it sticks to you for years. So I mean. And I guess the generic generic answer that these two niggas gonna say it's like oh the number, but you know no. a classic. You know me, a classic I'm not a numbers person. Anybody that know me? All right, so uh, I feel like because we're gonna talk, clear it up for me. So look, we already <laughs> we gonna have like what is it, our top three classic albums, right? Yeah. Uh, we cannot say Illmatic mm-hmm. in there because Illmatic's like I, I feel like Illmatic is like place. it's automatic. For anybody who's listening, to Bob. but before we even talk about the album, just define what makes a classic album. No, what the fuck classic no album? I think you said it before, Ben. Is that there's no benchmark? I feel like it has and, to be a good project with no skips. No, if you create a project that makes you change, yeah, makes yeah. me change the view of you. <laughs> ben said it before. If mm-hmm. you make an album that makes me change the view of you as an artist, it makes it a classic. No, I never said that. <laughs> you talk because you because you said with uh, with J Cole, and you was like, "Oh, that junk ain't changed nothing for me, so it ain't no classic." It didn't change anything for hip hop. Oh, for hip hop, yeah. Well, that, 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 for hip-hop. For hip-hop. See, more apart from hip hop, it got to be for you personally. It can't be for hip hop for a classic. To you, to you. Let me go ahead and get these niggas the real definition, since y'all ain't got no real definition, man. Let me go ahead and okay. put the hammer down. Let these niggas know, bro. A classic album needs three things. It's very simple. It needs to have impact, mm-hmm. originality, and time. That's it. It has to impact the culture. Did it change music in any way, shape, or form? Did it change style in any way, shape, or form? If the answer is no, it's not a classic. Right, if it wasn't original, did they do anything mm-hmm. new? Or did they just come in and just make another hip hop album? It's not a classic. Time, it doesn't have to be timeless. But it has to stand the test of time. Did it last for at least five years? Can you play it you know, in five years? Can it question. still sound good? General question. If, if, I was, if, if I was Grammy nominated, does it make it a classic? No. Mm-mm. No. Oh, no. It's a lot of Grammy nominated albums that are not classics. Yeah, very true. But at the same time, there's a lot of Grammy like nominated like albums that are classic. Yeah, so. <laughs> you said which one? Corday's album. Lost Boy wasn't that a Grammy nominated yeah. album? Nope, they didn't need a Grammy. Right? Um, is that a classic, Marlon? Is no, that a classic? Awesome. I don't know. Cause okay, his name right? What do you mean you don't know? <laughs> bitch, bitch, <laughs> show up, what do you mean? nigga. Cause like the what is he saying? Wait, what? what, what, what the just happened mar- there, bro? No, what? What I said was I don't know. Cause, cause like I said, the markers of, of what makes a classic today is different from when we was kids. When we was kids. You would know a classic album because you would hear that bitch everywhere. Like, for example, right? That's you remember how, what what was it? Um, Remember the Daisy Kanye project? Like, what, what song, what, what album Watch had through. Otis on it? But, yeah. Okay, think, think about like this, right? Mm-hmm. When Jay-Z and Kanye had Watch the Throne era, right? You couldn't mm-hmm. go nowhere without basically escaping that shit. Like, that shit was everywhere, right? Mm-hmm. You could say, in a way, that's a classic album, right? And, yeah. And it, just yeah. for what it was. Mm-hmm. It ha- See, when we was younger, the impact of albums had more staying power and it had more just longevity. It is, it, and we're in a microwave kind of area where it's kind of like projects. I'm glad you said are, that. Are, projects are coming out like this, right? Mm-hmm. From anybody, and I appreciate the diversity of music and just how much music it is, but it's still coming out like this at a pace of a snap. So it's That's a great like, point that you made. That's with Corday's album, his thing, right? It could probably be the best fucking album in the world but you would never uh, could truly appreciate it or understand it because I could listen to like 20, 20 other niggas at the same time that probably dropped the same night as you did so it's kind of like it takes time to let I things feel mature you. Corday and, I, and, nah. I to, and I listen to the album I, my opinion it's a good album 
Mm-hmm. But I haven't went back to it since the But I know when I first listened to it, I appreciate it for what it is. It's a good album. Mm-hmm. But his name, just because of we don't think it's great, does not mean a million other motherfuckers outside our door do not think it's great. That's yeah, the other good thing. Point. We yeah. have our own bubble theory about it. Like yes. my other motherfuckers might fuck with it. Yeah. But we the tastemakers. So I'm glad you talked about time, right? You got Rowdy Rich. Please excuse me for being antisocial, right? A lot of people are saying that's a classic. Yeah, it is. The reason why it's not a classic, I, I agree. The reason why it's not a classic to me is because it hasn't been out for five years. No, I don't. I, I, That's all I gotta no, say. No, That's all no, I gotta no, say, bro. No, no. That's all I gotta you can't say. Put t- you can't put time on a classic. You, you can't. I did. I did it. I did it. You know it's gonna be a classic, man. No, can't put, can't if it time will, if it does, then it is. You know what I'm saying? Damn, but until damn, then, damn, no. Damn. You can't put time on a classic. You can't put time on a classic. And you know what? Since we on this topic, uh, J. Cole, right? Mm. 2014 Four Zero Drive, right? Yeah, classic. The reason why classic. it's not a classic. Oh my god! The reason why it's not a classic, y'all. But why? Why, why isn't it a classic? It has no originality. If you listen to a hip hop, if you Cole listen to hip hop, hold on, bitch, Cole went platinum with no features. Shut up. If you listen to hip hop, you would know that he's not the first person to do that. Yeah, I know he's not. The he's first not the first person to do anything original, he did on that original, album. Original, original, look, 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 look. look. Originality, we, we need to stop. In that situation, Cole that literally saved Cole's career. I don't care what anybody says. That it album is. literally. What are you talking about? It literally about? No, like it didn't. It, it did. literally. Bro, no, it didn't. That it jumped not everybody on Cole. Of that album. No, not everybody it didn't save his career. It did. It did. That nigga was not it dying. Did. What are y'all talking about? Hit me out. He was. He was like Wale. He was average. He, he, he was, no, yeah, he had a couple songs here and there. No, that no, listen, no. I remember the promo for that album. Y'all that nigga, I mean, that, that album shot him the fuck up. It like the, the masses knew who the fuck yeah. Cole was because of that album. I don't care yeah, what you gotta he say. He wasn't dying as an artist. You said this, it saved it his career. It, it doesn't. It doesn't matter if he was dying as an artist. His music was come, becoming. It wasn't no artistry. In it. It was am, like, I, am I not listening to what it you said, my nigga? You said it saved his career. It did. Yeah. He yeah. was not dying. Well, he was, y'all saying it like he was falling off. Okay, he okay. was ascending I'm, the whole time. We're not gonna say what are y'all talking this? about? It, it, it bro. pushed him into the next level. Right of there, Wale status, bro. He was if never he with dropped, Wale. If he didn't drop, if he didn't drop 2014 Forest Hills Drive. Okay, I, I got. I got another be, example. It would be right? a different coming example, out right? Born Center, bro. Man, I got another. I got another example, right? Mm-hmm. Tyler wouldn't be Tyler right now. If he didn't drop Flyboy, and I don't care what anybody says, if he didn't yeah. drop Flyboy, he did. It wouldn't be the same. Cause like, yeah. Imagine you went, you went straight from what? What was it? The Wolf. Then you drop Igor. No, no fucking way. That should have sound rash. Yeah, you had the makeup for Cherry Bomb. Everybody like, hey, like you, like you could scratch, you could scratch Cherry Bomb, low key. Like Flyboy was like was the album that shot him up. Yep. And you, like you could say what you want. You could feel how you feel. But that's like every I say every artist who's good of an artist has that one album that that really kind of like put them in the put them so, in the, the next tier. So you feel like every artist has a classic, Marlon? That's no, basically what you no, feel like. I feel like mm-hmm. most. If it's I feel a dope, like you, you feel like if it's like, a dope enough album, it's a classic. Not that's what you feel like. Classic. No, I feel like it, I feel like the great ones have that one album that you could say in your heart push them into the next level. So you feel like if it's a great album, it's a classic. That's what you Nas feel like. not without well, Illmatic, Nas would be would not be Nas. Y'all not giving me no substance. Without without without, re, without reasonable doubt, Jay Z would not be Jay Z. Nah, that's not that. Come on, man. What are you saying? Bro? Mm, what are you saying? Jay Z got Ray, multiple classics. Yeah, doesn't matter. Without Ray, without Ray, that that without, whole this album defines them. That does not make you. Listen, it's not a classic so, because of that. So so will pop be pop without all eyes on me? Yes, my yeah, nigga. <laughs> what are you saying right now? <laughs> yes, that's dead, bro. That was his last he album. Troll, bro. He was mean? gone. He was gone when <laughs> that album came <laughs> out. He was gone. I'll just show the video. I can't think. I can't that's why like I say it was busy. Okay, like like okay, okay, after death in a classic. Right. What? They said, "What Kanye? Be Kanye? What? What? Call dropout." I ain't gonna say beautiful doctor is a fantasy. I'm gonna say college dropout. If he would have, if college dropout never happened and he started with late registration, he'd still be the same kind of Yeah. You're not making no good point with that, bro. That's not I'm a good saying, point. Every every great artist or artist that we know are great had that had that one album that kind of like, and I don't think we had that one album I that agree. really pushed. I agree. I agree with that, but it's not. So a that album is watch the throw classic. classic. 
It might be, yeah. It might be a classic, yeah. yeah. That's a classic. Yeah. I, I, I that's classic, right? Okay, yeah, I'm going to say sure that's a classic. Mind. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's a classic. But like I said, though, bro, y'all, like, you can't just be calling shit classic well, just because it's great. This nigga, be, this nigga be want to be the opposite nigga. So it's bad. great, and then it's classic, bro. Okay, it's give simple. me a mod. Give me, no, give me a classic today. Mm-hmm. I don't want old shit. I don't want no bullshit. Give me a classic today. That ain't nothing give us your, like give us your three. Bro. I got you. Give one. me something today. I got you. One. Young Thug, the Barter Six. Okay, that's a classic today. Talk to me. Come on, bro. What you got, bro? Listen, what you got? I, I, I want to fight him on. <laughs> what you I, got? Listen, listen, hear me out. What I'm saying. <laughs> I want to cuss him out because he he pulled the most obscure one out of the bag. And I mm, can't disagree with what he's saying. Because I can I can I can call a nigga right now and nigga will tell me how Barter Six made him feel. Like yes. that was like that part. Listen, that was that's that part that you were you were so confused when you first heard it. Because it was like like yeah. even when it came out, it was like, what the fuck? Originality, like, impact, all like, that shit. That was that was a weird time of life. Classic, like, low key, if you really think about it, that was a weird ass time. Like mm-hmm. I want that shit to come out again. Like dope project. What's okay, your no, um, I, I didn't, what? I, you need another one? Um, let me see what I I can't roll. I Future, can't roll. I Future, Dirty Sprite too. You want that one? That's too easy. That's too easy. Though. Migos I, culture. Easy. You want that one? That's too easy too. I need. What? I need. Come on, give me nah, one. I and I, and I, no, I, I all three of them are classic. All the easy ones. Um, those are the newest ones, bro. That I have. Frank yeah, Ocean, Channel one. Orange. Yeah, that's, that's a classic. Yeah. Um. All right. Yeah, those are the newest ones I got. Right, name me your three. Know. My three? Your three classic. Now you go ahead first. All right. So <laughs> um, I'm going to say Flower Boy. Yeah, it's not a classic. Yeah, it's very That's much classic. classic. Why it's is it a classic? classic? Because it literally changed, it was, it changed who, who we thought. And put, it literally put him into like, he would have never won a Grammy if that album didn't push him up to where he was. Like, exactly. I'm sorry. Right. That album had no skills. Mm-hmm. That album had no skills. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. So At long last so ASAP. <laughs> what? That's, that's Rocky's classic. Nah, man. Nah. Yeah. Nah, bro. Yeah. Why is it a classic, ASAP. though? I just want to hear from you, bro. Why is you it a know classic? why. I mean, I, why? I the songs, that. everything on that was a great project for Rocky. It, it perfected what we had from uh, what is it called? Uh, Long live ASAP. Oh shit! That's not what I was saying. Yes, I I stand with Long Live ASAP as his classic album. We have in songs like LSD, Canal Street, JD, Laura, Pretty Flacco, Jody, all songs that are made and made a staple for Rocky, and it made us hear him in this light of. Like the LSD vibe is something that people really loved. And it's 2015, came out, been about five years. I feel like it's grown. I still can listen to it and be like, yo, it's young, still hard. Not a big fan of testing, but. I mean, did it have any impact? I think it, I think it was kind of more of an impact because after Yam mm-hmm. and kind of how that was and like the tribute in a way to him. It was kind of the last project they kind of had an opportunity to work on together. So I don't agree, but I ain't mad at it. Mm-hmm. And my third one was uh, My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Do you think that Astro World could be considered a classic? Yeah, definitely. In time, we could see that as a classic. Listen, I know. I need, I need you to start doing the time. Hey, I, it's, either, it's, it's either it is or it isn't. <laughs> right, so, you know, right, so, right now, you got to see. You never listen yeah. to an album that sound good that year, but the next year it didn't sound Bro, good that no shit, more? It's been two years. The shit is good. I'm just saying in general. You yeah, never heard an album like that? I was old playlist today, and I had like Mick Jenkins and like Alex Wiley pull up in it, and I was like, ugh. Yeah, it like doesn't some sound shit just good don't. Right yeah, some shit just don't last like it's supposed to, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I, I, every time an Astro World song comes on, that shit is fire. I'm sorry, like I don't. I'm telling you, I just don't see how I feel like. I like, know. Astro World is the way it is because of how it was marketed. It made everyone want to be a part of Astro World. <laughs> And that's what made it. Because, like, yo, Birds in the Trap, too. Sing McKnight, is, in my opinion, is better than Astroworld. 
Yeah, same. Mm, I don't know about that shit. I don't mm, know. Man, that album fight all the way through. No, but it's a trip, mm. Yeah. Like, I'm with you shit. on that. Yeah. I so what's your three? What what's your three moving? Um, okay. My three is going to be very scary because I, I really had to t- some like 10 minutes to think about this shit. And I didn't <laughs> want to be picking the same albums like everybody else. Right. So honestly, I'm going to put my number one because I got the same shit as Ross from, from one of my I'm gonna use Flower Boys on number one. Like I feel like we had enough conversation about that. You know, said John Rubin did ch- change his over outlook. <laughs> and my second one, you know, I had to really think about this. And I had to think, go back from like 2017 to really think about this. I'm gonna say Black Swan by Smino. It might not have been the most mm. critically acclaimed mm. number wise, but if I feel like if you're a true music head and a true rap fan, mm. it created a whole different lane of like, I ain't gonna say jazz rap, that's not technically what it is, but it was like, you want, like, they, they want to call it alternative rap, but in my mm-hmm. opinion, it's not really alternative. He's mm-hmm. talking about the same shit, but the beat selection, the vibe is different, the sound is different. I completely yeah. understand that, but it was, it, the shit was fucking different. I would I call that an so underground heavy. classic. I would call that an underground classic. I ain't mad at that. A, a, a classic in the mess. I feel like if the masses knew about it, it was going to be the same. Yeah. And um, hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna throw a flyer. I'm gonna say I am. I was about twenty one savage was a classic. Hear me out when I hear me out hear me out when I say this right. Mm-hmm. Everybody know who twenty one savage is. Everybody listen to twenty one savage, and we, we know how his original music sound like with the mixtapes and shit that dropped. When he dropped this, it was di- his rap style was different. He he pronunciated his words different. The, he, the topics he spoke about was different. He talked about real issues that were going on in the world. Shit, mm. hit, like, to the song he won a Grammy for a lot was literally, literally talking about deep ass shit. He made an effort to make, not even gonna say a conscious album, but to make a real. He was Grammy nominated for it. So I feel like, like I said, he really put it all together. And like I said, for me, a classic is when you really take that time to, to do that switch, but we're not getting that same typical shit from you. So I appreciate the handcrafted. And just the overall, I, it was an enjoyable album. I can't, I, I, I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, I fuck with it. Like, and I still, like vibe with that song. So for me, it's a classic. It might not be to everybody now. It might not be to the masses. But to me, as that, for that artist, that was a classic. Mm. Mm. Okay. Okay. I feel it. I feel it. 